Yo, it's Patrick Starr, a.k.a. Pat LeBond, and I'm here rocking with the Bean Shine. I didn't experience hip hop till like maybe the late 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. So that was like my era, but my cousin used to bump that 90s, so um, that true hip hop shit. Yo, when I first heard Ether by Nas, that was my joint, man. I was out of the country. I was back in the homeland in Lebanon, and I bought the Stomatic um, CD over there. And um, I bumped that. I heard Ether for the first time. I was probably like maybe 14. Damn, that's young, right? 14, yeah. So Ether, when I heard that, I was like, wow. Tried to do as much shows as possible. Tried getting on songs as possible. Invested in myself. Um, you know, getting the right collabs. Just, you know, just grinding. That's about it. In the beginning, they didn't support it at all. I mean, my parents are old school. You know how foreigners are, man. I mean, if it's not guaranteed bread on the table, it makes no sense. But um, now they're cool with it. You know what I mean? They can't do nothing about it now. <laughs> when I first did my song with Coogee Rap, that was um that was crazy for me. Uh, my man Nino Bless, shout out Nino Bless. Um, I mean, good dude. That's like family to me. He he made it work for me. He did the connect. It was pretty dope, man. Shout out to Nino Bless. Performing, and I'm still trying to overcome it. I think that's my weak point. I mean, I'm not scared to point out my flaws and whatnot, but performing definitely. Just the fact that I get to be in the actual room with rappers I looked up to, you know, um, especially from, from Mass. I mean, shout out Rex, shout out Term, you know, they're doing their thing, Slain, and um, Easy Money, you know what I mean, the whole show off, ST, that's family to me. And um, just the fact that it's an honor to be around them. So that's something I'm very proud of. Man, I just want people to remember me for being a goofball, but... Just uh, I want my music to be timeless. You know, it's more about the music than anything. Like, I don't care if people hate me, love me, whatever. At the end of the day, I just want my music to do the talking. And if I can make timeless music, I'm good, you know?